and to learn more. Welcome back, everyone. If you're looking for some of the hottest home automation gadgets in the market right now, look no further. We have tech expert Elliot Chun joining us with a few of his favorites. Welcome back, Elliot. Thank you, Karen. It's kind of like everything you'd find in James Bond's house. Exactly. James Bond, the Jetsons, every cool sci-fi movie we grew up with, it's all right here in reality today. And most of the stuff can be operated from your smartphone, which is also really, yeah, really exactly. cool. Yeah, exactly. Smartphone, tablet, these two are the main culprits. We've got more than the majority of our population on one of these devices, especially yep. the adult category everyone's getting one of these a smartphone so I've got actually the Samsung Galaxy GS5 the latest uh, model that's uh, out by Samsung that's helping control s some of the demos here okay and really excited so it starts with a smartphone with a good connection like from the Bell Network but then you also need a good router so that's actually the first item here Carrie when's the last time you upgraded a router uh, uh, never exactly <laughs> a lot a lot of people are in the same boat I admit I was in this uh, the same dilemma as well and think of it like the same as you would upgrade another piece of technology like your smartphone for example you might do that every one or two years depending on, on your usage you should think about your wireless router as well because this puppy here is doing all the work for you in your home and I've done a marked improvement going from what they call a wireless N which was um, an older router uh -huh. to now it's a wireless AC so Imp an improvement AC. how an improvement how in terms of the coverage you have in your home okay. so I'm in a condo in Vancouver where the wireless connection is at the front of my door and I couldn't get connection into the solarium at the back of the condo but once you upgrade to the AC it gives you greater coverage and also gives you a stronger signal as well so now I can stream in that back room no problem so just remember AC is your current one take a look at what router you have today and if, if you're on an end you want to maybe look at an AC like this D-Link router here okay good good tip all right thanks about Elliot now this is kind of cool this is a a lock that you don't need a key for necessarily yeah exactly so this is actually wiser is the actual lock mechanisms and maybe I'll tilt that a yeah little bit good idea the camera so wiser is the cat the uh, the lock there and you've got your traditional key as you see here However, what's really cool is this mechanism right here where I'm pointing is actually the technology in it. So it's powered by Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And what you can do is actually use your smartphone and you don't have to fumble for your keys anymore and just touch the front lock. And that'll go green once it recognizes that you have a device that's on and enabled and allowed to access this. It has military grade encryption in it, so you can't be hacked. Mm -hmm. And basically it's a really cool way to either let yourself in. And if you've got an iOS and you want to send it to maybe your nanny or a housekeeper, you can literally text them that code to have access to your home even when you're not there. You get alerts of how often the doors open. So great safety feature as well as like just a cool way to let your guests into your house. So Interesting. that's really cool. Again, you can do it with touch or with a, a key fob that comes with it. And you can add several fobs as well if you like more the touch thing. Or like my parents, they just want the key. So I think I'm, I think I would stick to old school for a while <laughs> just, just, just to get used true. to that. Absolutely. That's, so that's a tough one to adjust to. Okay. Uh, now this is kind of funky. This is it changes the colors of your lights. Yeah, home. exactly. So this looks like a high-tech light bulb, if you will, and this is by Philips, a well-known uh, lighting company, mm -hmm. and they call this a Philips Hue because you can literally change the hue of this light bulb. So it comes right now in your classic frosted white, as you would see at any hardware retailer, but now at Future Shop, you can get these light bulbs that are a bit on the pricier side. They work out to be about $50 a bulb. Okay. However, these last about 20 years, oh. and it's just a showstopper when you have a party or you just want to dim the lights, set some romance in the house. You can actually use one of the programmable settings through the Philips Hue lighting app, or you can just simply control it yourself, create some custom ones. Maybe it's, you know, carry sunset, and you can do that at a certain time. And you can also program it as well. So if at 6 o'clock at dinner time you want a, a romantic sunset for you and your hubby, you can do that right there. What color do you switch to for a romantic night in your house, Hotel well, Elliot? <laughs> I'm an old school romantic at heart, so I, I stick with the red and, okay. and stick with the Future Shop red too, so I'm all about the red actually. Okay, so how, many different, how many different colors can you do here? Thousands. The oh, color palette is endless, so if Whoa. you've got a specific you know, hue that you want to really reach, you can totally do that. Customizable, or again, use one of the presets that's in the smartphone app. So okay. really, really cool and, and totally a showstopper. In fact, uh, a buddy of mine was spending a Saturday night literally just hours changing the light settings and... So it's entertainment also. It's entertainment, for sure. <laughs> okay, that. great. Now, what do we have here? This is a thermostat of some kind. This is, yeah. So ignore the display, but uh, if you look closely here, this is actually the Nest programmable thermostat. And okay. what's really cool about this is it's supposed to be a DIY project. So if um, the person in your household is feeling inclined to simply uh, you know, replace a, a fixture in your home, for example, like a light fixture, in this case, a thermostat, it's very easy to take apart. Obviously, you turn off your fuse box and, and switch it up. But with Nest, it's really cool because it's easy to install, but then it also controls the temperature from the power of your own smartphone. So let's say you've gone away for a week and you're coming home and you want to heat things up or cool things off now that we're entering the summer months. You could do that from the power of your own uh, smartphone. 
as well it's a learning thermostat so it actually understands your behavior so if you wake up at 5 a.m. and you know that you like the temperature to be really warm it'll program that for you so you don't have to get up and do that you can just do that right out of your bed or just set that that rule and off you go with the Nest thermostat. It remembers for you. It totally remembers yep it's it's a smart definitely a smart piece. A smart thermostat okay you good stuff. It. All right baby monitors have sure come a long way. They certainly have and I was chatting with Brent about this they've come a long way in just the one year or so that they've uh, really improved the technology. So D-Link's got this f uh, flashy baby monitor. It can actually also uh, detect imaging at night. So if you're wondering how your uh, baby's sleep patterns are, your toddler's sleep patterns are, it'll detect up to five meters in terms of that night vision in their room. It's also got oh, some nifty so features. Yeah, very lightweight. Okay. Neat features where you can actually record in HD. So you can record a short video or take photos off it if there's maybe a special precious moment that you want to capture and share out socially oh, or neat. send to family and friends. You could totally do that. And additionally, it's got a two-way microphone. So you can actually hear when someone's crying or maybe calling for you, and you can actually talk you back like an intercom. Totally. <laughs> so very Jetsons, even has the Jetsons antenna at the back, so it's uh, easy to operate. And one thing as well I, I should mention is you've got a music symbol up here, and that actually plays lullabies. So it's got some uh, several built-in lullaby presets, but Carrie, I heard you're a good singer outside the shower, so you can actually put in your own lullaby if you want your own tune in there to help, help your baby go to sleep. So. Okay, good to know. I'll keep that one in mind. Okay, finally, what do you have for us here, Elliot? And lastly, so now we're leaving the house, we're going through the garage. Probably the most common complaint or um, I think problem people have when they leave their home is, oh man, did I actually close the garage door? Oh yeah, so you leave, you can't remember if you did it. Exactly, so this is totally eliminated. And I also like to think of the one day when you receive a package from a courier, maybe you're not home, but you wanna let them through the garage or vice versa, you've got a guest, you just wanna let them through the garage if you don't have a Kivo then this Chamberlain MyQ can allow you to do that. And you can also get alerts on your smartphone that say, hey, alert, carry your garage door just opened at 10 a.m. Is this cool or is this a concern? Okay. Um, so imagine too, if, if for child safety as well, if you want to know when your garage door is opening or closing, this will totally take care of that. You can even pair it with uh, something like a drop cam okay. and see what's happening in that as well. Very good stuff. All doable from your smartphone. I like the idea of that. Elliot, thank you so much. You're very good, welcome. Idea, good ideas here. And for more information on any of these items Elliot talked about today, you can just head to our website, ctvmorninglive.ca. Stay with us, everyone. Mike McArdle has the last word coming up next. One of the hottest summer tours of 2014, Lionel Richie, with very special.